Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in what is left of the paradise of the Oklawaha River uh, here outside of Ocala, Florida on this gorgeous winter day. Friday, February 8, 2019. I think we're about maybe 83 degrees, I'm guessing, here on this cold winter day. And I'm at this, uh, you're not going to be able to see much in here, at, at this goddamn dam that they built across the Oklawaha River. And uh, I guess there's some talk that they're going to dismantle this dam and let the Oklawaha River uh, gain its former glory. So I can't think of a better place for an ecological meltdown roundup rant than at this uh, insult to Gaia uh, out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we're actually somewhere in this rant going to talk about southern wetlands. But we're going to start out in uh, the shithole country of Brazil. Now, I do not have my bullshit detector or my no-shit Sherlock buttons with me out in my truck, so you're just going to have to, as I go through these stories, just take a wild guess which button would Hambone be pushing uh, as we go down this list of stories from Manga Bay. Dot com, and then I'll probably go ahead and throw in Center for Biological Diversity and, Mo and Washington Post in this rant. Although we might make two parts. Anyway, take it away, Manga Bay from Brazil. Wow. New appointments and new policies do not bode well for the Brazilian Amazon. Jair Bozonaro took office on January 1st. And since then, he has made appointments to his government, and there have been statements by people in his administration that are causing grave concern among environmentalists. How about the new environment minister? Jose, I mean, Jair Bozonaro's new environment minister, uh huh, Ricardo Sales, has come out strongly for an end to the demarcation of indigenous lands and in support of entrepreneurs and companies being allowed to self-regulate the environmental licensing process for major infrastructure and development projects. Hmm. Yes. Uh... And we're going to put the foxes in charge of guarding the hen house with their deforestation monitoring satellite system. Uh-huh. Let's see. Who is the new head of FUNAI, Brazil's Indigenous Affairs Agency? Welcome, Franklinburg Ribeiro de Freitas. Hmm. Some fear a major conflict of interest with this fucker. Freitas was most recently a consulting advisor uh, for indigenous affairs with the Bellow Sun Mining Company, where he sided against indigenous land rights. There you go, the new protector of indigenous land rights is a former lobbyist with a mining company where he cited against indigenous land rights. Okay, I think we've heard by now that 2018 was the fourth hottest year on record. Uh, let's see, moving on, I'm just going to... Uh, I got a lot on my plate today, uh, so we're just going to plow ahead here. I enjoyed this town about, from th this article about uh, 
this spiritual uh, this spiritual protection of some uh, some ecosystem down there in, in Guatemala. I just remember being down there uh, in Guatemala checking out one of these sites and right around the bend from the uh, you know where the priest or whatever you want to call this guy was doing his thing his little sermon or what did you call it every week about how you know we're supposed to protect uh, Gaia what do they call her uh, Pachamama or whatever there was a, a, a mountain of these single-use plastic water bottles that everybody walked up the mountain carrying a full bottle but instead of carrying the empty bottle back down the mountain they just drank the water while they were and I guess what they were doing is offering their empty single-use uh, water bottle as an offering to Pachamama. Now I'm not saying this group they're talking about here is that group. I'm just saying that was my experience. We're going to go over from the shit old country of Guatemala to the shit old country of Zombie Island. Fries with that shark. UK chippies found selling threatened species. So they, this, uh, the, this group of fish huggers went and, to, you know, visited all these fish and chips places uh, and tested the DNA of the fish being sold and uh, it didn't take a wild guess uh, <clears throat> a bunch of them were being you were eating fried endangered species this is one more reason I do not eat seafood anyway um, let's go back to the shit old country of Guatemala looking at palm oil in Guatemala did you realize wow that palm oil is the fastest growing agribusiness industry in Guatemala and probably 20 other countries along with mining and hydroelectric projects Palm oil is a major cause of land grabs that displace indigenous uh, communities. And there you go. Who would have thought it? Now this next quest, this next story from the shit old continent of, of Asia is the latest uh, voice in this whole frying pan versus the fire debate over urbanization. Uh, you know, talking about all of the flight to these giant mega cities as more and more and more people flee the countryside into these giant cities that it's actually you know, reducing the number of humans, you know, on the uh, on the rural areas between the cities, and according to this latest study of urbanization in Asia, provides a window of hope for tigers, as the more people move into the city. The more room that tigers and every the, and every other species of Earthling uh, have to move around in. So, you know, guys, uh, this is just another one of these intractable, uh, weird little catch twenty twos in the collapse of a planet. Uh, all right, let's go over to the shithole, well, I guess is the border between the shithole countries of Nigeria and the Cameroon, where we find the Cross River Gorilla, which is the rarest great ape subspecies on the planet, with only 300 
individuals believed to survive in the wild now clinging to their last little fragment of habitat in the highland forest along the Nigeria Cameroon border but you're you are not going to believe this guys that a survey of people living near Cross River gorilla habitat found while the majority of residents understood that the gorillas are endangered and killing them is illegal, few people supported measures to protect the gorilla or its habitat. Take a wild guess which button I would be pushing on that uh, story. It would be the same button I would be pushing on this one. Police charge Indonesian politician's brother in deforestation case. Hmm. Police in Indonesia have charged the brother of a deputy governor with clearing a protected forest to make way for an oil palm plantation. Of course, this fucker was questioned by investigators, but released. Hmm. His brother previously ran the company at the center of the investigation and has also been linked to another corruption scandal. In case you are unaware of this, oil palm plantations are a major driver of deforestation on the Indonesian island of Sumatra, where they are often carved out of ostensibly protected forest. Uh -huh. And anyone who does not understand the dots between that story and this one right next to it, I do not have time to explain it to you now. <clears throat> Asian banks give billions to firms linked to deforestation. Hmm. <coughs> who would have thunk it? According to a recent analysis and report, financial backing for palm oil pulp and paper, and other industries associated with forest loss in Southeast Asia is estimated to have topped $60 billion over the, last, over the past five years. Many Asian banks, the biggest funders of palm oil and similar damaging activities, have no standards that restrict the harm their clients cause. Do you think so? And I guess there, that was palm oil, and then I guess we're going to have a report on soy, which will have the same conclusions. Okay, what happened to all of this talk uh, about saving 50% of the planet for, you know, humans taking 50% of the planet and giving every one of our other earthlings combined the other 50%, well, I guess the number has quietly changed. Now, conservation groups press world leaders to protect 30% of the planet. So, I guess 50% wasn't selling, so now it's give 70% of the planet to humans and the other 30% to every other species of earthling humans share the planet with. As 13 nature conservation organizations are urging world leaders to back a plan to protect 30% of the world's surface and oceans by 2030. Um, recent research has shown less than one quarter of the world's wilderness still remains. Yes, I guess one half of one percent is less than a quarter. Okay, let's go over there to the shithole country of China 
latest news about this goddamn Chine, China Belt and Road Initiative could increase alien species invasion. Hmm. China's ambitious Belt and Road Initiative could introduce alien invasive species into several countries threatening their native biodiversity, warns a new study looking at 800 alien invasive vertebrate species. Good God, guys, we're so fucked. Uh, here's an article. Good God, now exit the dragons. Exit the dragons. This is talking about these lizards. Abronia lizards native to Mexico and Central America are the latest victims of the exotic pet market. Customs officials have found them hidden in socks. Oh, Jesus. We just heard one about a somebody getting busted for corruption over logging. Wow. Uh, and here we have Indonesia's anti-graft agency arrests Borneo politician over mining permits. Do you think so? Uh, Supion Head is the Hadi is the latest politician to be charged with corruption over the issuance of licenses in the natural resource sector. They say authorities say they have evidence that he took bribes in exchange for granting mining permits. Hmm, can you imagine? Guess which button on that one? And then we're going to go over to the shit all country of France and you can guess which button I would be pushing on this one. France pledges to stop deforestation imports by 2030. The French government has adopted a national strategy to combat unsustainable imports known to be key drivers of deforestation. Huh. The European Union is a major importer of agricultural products such as soybeans, palm oil, beef, cocoa, and rubber, which are said to drive almost 80% of all deforestation. I'm sure uh, that's going to go over real well. I can imagine the yellow vest when uh, France decides to... Uh, to stop the import of palm oil, soybeans, beef, cocoa, and rubber into France. Okay, here was the article I was waiting for, sitting here on the banks of the dammed up and dammed uh, Oklawaha River here in central Florida, once an absolutely glorious ecosystem. Wetland forests, what are they worth? The wetland forests of the southern United States are a valuable yet vulnerable national treasure. Their tangled branches, hmm, ancient budded roots and swampy mystique conceal rare and beautiful wildlife and are deeply ingrained in the cultural heritage of the region. Just a few hundred years ago, the swamps of the south were drastically different. They stretched over the landscape where tree plantations, farms, and cities have now replaced them. We forgot dams and lakes. Uh, the forested wetlands, or what's left of them, of the southern U.S. 
and the many, myriad benefits they provide are crucial to the health and well-being of the region, which is why we should work to protect them, hopefully by tearing out this dam over the Oklawaha River. Uh, here is a hilarious story on Haiti's first private nature reserve is seeking to protect rare plants and animals in Haiti. Take a wild guess how big the first private nature reserve in the country of Haiti is. If your guess is two square miles, uh, good luck to that. Uh, what's going on with attacks against environmentalists? We now have an arson attack in Indonesia where uh, this fellow Murdani, the head of a local chapter of Indonesia's largest environmental NGO, had his house burned down. He thinks his advocacy against sand mining on his native island of Lombok might be the reason he was targeted. But we're going to end up, I guess, uh, in several shithole countries with the, take a wild guess which button, I would be pushing octopus farming is unsustainable, unethical, and unnecessary, scientists warn octopus farming operations. Good God Almighty, there is no end to the madness, but good Lord, I'm already 22 minutes into this, so I'm going to come back with a quick part two of uh, this week's Ecological Meltdown Roundup Rant. We're going to go over to those eco-Nazis at the Washington Post and Center for Biological Diversity coming up in one minute for Manga Bay in part one. Smoke them if you got them and blow up whatever damn you can. In, in an ecosystem near you while you still can. Bye guys.